Good kitten internet, I am back. All I've done is grab something to drink. Let's go ahead and enter chapter six, the final chapter. Having acquired the great sword, Vandal Heart, the only power which can resist the flames of judgment. You can actually see Ash's reflection on the sword. Ash and his friends set off for the city of Shumeria to take their part in the Liberation Army's final assault. At the same time, Dolph, who had been secretly hiding his true ambition for years, saw the chaos after the death of Emperor Hell as his great chance to grasp Grim. the reins of power. Alright, so the final showdown appears to be starting. It's Ash versus Dolph. Welcome to Chapter 6, A Fool's Epitaph. And it's a picture of the ocarina. That will be important. But, first we're in Glasgow. Very first thing that we need to do before anything else this is our only chance, is to talk to people. The Empire is finished. Emperor Hell's death was the final nail in the coffin. Eh, no pun intended. Now that everyone's rushing to line up, and now everyone's rushing to line up on the side of the rebels. So that's actually the thing that caused the rebellion to gain enough strength to start defeating Empire soldiers, is the Empire soldiers are low on morale because their leader, Hell Spites, was the head of the Department of Defense. So, they don't have a leader anymore. The Imperial armies fall into pieces all over the country, but they say that the Emperor's son, Cain, is still lives. Cain lives! Sorry, uh, reference to Command and Conquer. And the Crimson Guard still strikes fear into the heart of their foes. Oh, now everyone's excited for the pending collapse of the Empire, but weren't it us, the people who gave Hell all of his powers from the very start? We were a republic. We actually gave it to him. And elected him. Just saying. Huh? Could you be the one I've been seeking for so many years? Aye, there's no mistake! Thou art the holder of the five prisms. Take out the final key, O Great One. We have the Heaven's Key. That's actually the last thing that we needed. That is the last key... And if we do that trial battle, we will actually be able to, um, well, get the reward, shall we say. But first, let's go to the shop. Because we finally, finally have an equipment upgrade. So you will notice that Vandal Heart is now, or Vandal Hearts, it's supposed to be plural, is actually equipped to Ash, and it's a way better weapon than what I can buy. If I remember correctly, this version of the Vandal Hearts, there actually is a better weapon in the game than it. But... The trick is that you can actually get the Reforged Vandal Heart, and the Reforged Vandal Heart is, yeah, not even close on power. All right, so the rune arrow is still weaker, or is still stronger than the buster arrow. So we are giving the buster arrow to Diego. We've got an arc staff. Well, we're going to wait on that because we really don't need it. Uh, this goes to Dolan. The gigant axe. So it's a giant axe. Big axe. Halberds for our flyers. Could be Eamon. And Darius. No, I just noticed that it was weaker. Death Claws to Sarah, which is actually better than the Panzer Claws. I'm shocked. Oops. Ah. So, yep, I guess I'm selling the Panzer Claws, even though they're a unique weapon. Um, I'm going to swap the weapon back before I forget, because it's going to be important. So, to give you an idea, the next plot battle is actually the hardest battle in the game. 
the with an asterisk. Um, and I'll explain more why next video, because we're going to do the trial this video. Weapon, Dragon Pike, Darius. Okay, now let's do armor. Finally get to spend money. And not just on items. Wind crowns all around. We need all the defense we can get. So this is also the hardest trial in the game that we're going to be doing. And it'll be very obvious as to why it's the hardest trial the moment we get in. Um... Oh, apparently it's not that much better than Leather Mask. Got it. I think that's it. Yep. Kevlar armor. So much of a boost. Notice how much money we're spending. This is why I was a little gun shy over spending so much on. Um, Whatchamacallit, uh, the life orbs. We're going to need every dime we have. That's right, we are actually going to make ourselves lay poor. That's why I skipped over the staves, because we don't need staves. Let's be honest here. Where we're going, we don't need staves. Anyway, the robes for all the mages which there's only four, so we actually do have enough money. Yep. Okay. Because we can buy soul water. And all of the rest of our money is going to go toward soul water. We don't necessarily need it for the trial battle. We are definitely going to need it for the next plot battle. So let's start selling some things in the wagon. First off, weapons. And yes, I am finally selling, selling the golden axes. There's no armor for sale. This is the point in the game where we need to. Uh, technically, we can sell those, but why? <laughs> They're at least useful. And for the time being, we're just going to buy one soul water because that's the only spot we have open in our inventories. But I have come through here before where I sold all of my mage's weapons to buy more soul water because I need it badly. But again, we are going to do the Heavens Trial instead. This is the earliest possible time that we can do the trial. And normally, if we were playing the game like a normal human, um, this is the point in the game where we would want to do the trial. And the reason why is that we want the reward from the trial as fast as possible. But in this case... I am going to do the reward from the trial as late as possible. The reason why is that it makes the rest of the game much easier. Far easier. And I don't want to do that. I want to make I want to keep up the challenge as much as we can. So I'm not going to use the reward immediately. I'm going to use it at the last possible moment. But that doesn't mean we can't do the trial now. Hold for a moment. Mm. Fare thee well! And this is a very simple battle. Very simple. Very hard, but very simple. You can tell from the music, it's the instructional music. And from that quick glance, you can see what this battle is. We are fighting every boss in the game. So, well, not every, but we've got... 
two thief lords, then two jailers, then two thief lords, then two jailers, then two thief lords. Then a gap. Then we've got a war master, two high armors, two more war masters, two Sabinas, two dark mages. Then a high armor and a war master, a Valkyrie and a mage, a Valkyrie and a mage, and then two evil statues. And then that is our thing that we need. We need to open that chest before the final enemy falls. Luckily, these goobers don't move. And they still have their piercing light spell from way at the start of the game. Remember, we last uh, we first saw them back on the battle where we fought villagers. So, they're not the things I'm concerned about. Sabina this high up is definitely what I'm concerned about. And along with the dark mages that have caused us so many problems. Kurtz is not exactly a shrub either. Really, yeah, most things in this battle are not easy. Honestly, Dallas might be the assist thing in here. No, well, actually, curious. So, Dallas, who does have extra healing, has... It looks like a zombie from that perspective. Um, 121 attack, 130 defense. So, the same, but... They can only heal themselves, whereas Dallas can heal others. So it's the same stats, but the spells don't level up. So these are easier to fight, in other words, because Zoot can also only heal himself. You thought that was the last of Zoot Gog. Well, it's not like anybody has any lines here. But anyway, so these are what we're fighting. How far can I shoot? Not far enough. I'm thinking about moving Kira up there anyway, but, you know. It's unfortunate the order that they put people in here. Also, how far can you reach? You can get down to there. So if I stay on this bottom tile, I could potentially rearrange people? That's not necessarily a bad thing, because nobody else can reach me right now. And the jailers can't get anywhere near me. You know what? We're doing it. Okay, we're going to have two swords up next. So I want flyers to be in a better position. Flyers up to here are fine in my mind. but I think I actually want to get them to here instead. Ah. Move Sarah back there. Move Eel and I here. Move Dolan up here. Move Clint back here. Move Eamon there. Yep, this is good. I'm going to have to fast forward a lot during this battle because there's a lot of movement and the game is just going to constantly spin this bridge around. At least it does dart back and forth for the last ones. So basically what we want to do is try to bonk through the first set of enemies without using too many resources. So you're, no you're going to notice that I'm not going to be casting a whole bunch of spells this time. All right, so they could definitely reach me now. But I can reach them. So what we're doing is that we are softening up the zoots in front of us. So these two can attack. Actually, wait. Hmm. What is your movement, anyway? 
Movement is not listed. Damn it. Pfft. So I'm a little concerned that I'm not going to be able to put two people here. Also, keep in mind, since all of these are bosses, that means that everything's immune to status effects, other than the... Technically, the evil mages aren't. Okay, I can at least get Ash up there. Can I get Grog up there? I can. Okay. That's not a bad plan. Spread force isn't going to be good enough. I'm going to have to run in fire. Again, I am trying to be efficient on magic, so I'm not necessarily using super powerful spells. Unfortunately, you can see how little damage it does now. It's barely even worth casting. But it's also super cheap. And it's hitting four of them, so I'm not too concerned. Next up. Mystic Energy on Grog. I've got a reason for it. Don't worry. Attack up. Def up. Because Grog is actually going to melee. Ash isn't. Ow. Luckily, I'm, they're only going to be able to be attacked by one person at a time. That's part of the beauty of the setup, so to speak. Wow, I didn't realize Flying Eagles was that much cheaper, too. But I'm intending on Delta Mirage. I believe that's going to be enough to pop Dumas. No, it isn't. Oh, if I would have realized, I would have just eagled. Oh, too late now. Dolan. I actually need to bring you all the way up here because I want Mystic Shield, Ash. That way the two people up front are facing forward and have both have shields up. That's the idea at least. Actually, does Grog even still have his shield up? He does, okay. They both have 149 defense with a plus on it. You might as well move up, even though you can't do anything, and that's everybody. Next turn. Yep, they're going to start self-healing by moving back. But they can't heal up all the way. That's the thing. Because they're also affected by the whole leveling that the system is screwing them over. You'll notice that there's a very large blob of enemies up there now. And the swords are fighting swords. This works much better for them. Okay, good. I needed one of them to block, because otherwise this was going to be death. All of the swords are going to die against their... thing... A guard is going to hit Grog in the face. Grog can't take them back, and that will be it. See? I have plans. I can actually think strategically, believe it or not. It is past the end of business, and I have not heard back from job. Oop. Okay. So these two are badly hurt now, but Ash can heal himself, and I do have healing items. I don't care as much about using up those. 
We have one Zoot Gog remaining. It's not the worst. We have a whole bunch of Duma. Whole bunch of dumbasses. Um, Neil and I, are they actually within phase shift range? No, I need to move up for them to be in phase shift range. This is gonna hurt me a lot more than it's gonna hurt them. Okay, maybe not a lot more. It actually hurt me less. So my goal is to not have to heal outside of ultra healing. Or healing circle type things. I'm softening them up is what it is. And I'm also getting out of the way. So these two goobers can move up slightly more. And phase shift. Hmm. I could Roman fire instead. That dealt 40-ish. Roman fire up there is going to be enough to take most of them out. But I can't hit all of them. Yeah, I can't hit the ones in the back. So I can only hit those. It's probably worth doing then. Because it's the same spread of enemies. I'm doing a little bit less damage, but it's not that much less. I Roman fire. Yeah, technically I can hit that one instead of that one. That's not a bad idea. And the reason why I say that's not a bad idea is that I already know I can one-shot suit. Whereas getting more damage on the armor types makes sense. Not to mention I'm only doing 20 damage to suit. Okay. Now we have archers. Please die. Thank you. I needed at least one of the two of them to die. I needed Dolan on this side. Because then Dolan could have gotten up to there. Okay, how am I going to do this then? How large of an area is Ultra Healing going to be? I'm going to have to hit there. Okay. I can do this. Bonk. And as expected, his attacks back down to normal. Now we're starting to break formation a little bit because I'm wanting to get a little more damage into Duma. Our first ultra healing is going to hit all of them. It should fully heal all of them too. So that was efficient because we're healing four people for five MP. The rest aren't damaged, so I'm not concerned about them. We're bringing Sarah way up. And Clint is still bringing up the rear, but not for long. Now we have one Duma remaining, and I don't think anybody else is going to move. Yep, that's what I expected them to do. Because they have height advantage and hitting from the side. The AI prefers that. Only has 39 hit points left, so I'm probably... Oh, they're actually starting to move. I was not expecting that. 
Ah, oh, that might be a problem. They all have ranged attacks. That's the problem. And tons of MP to do something about that. Oh, I have a notification. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and save. Retro Dram. All right. This may end up having to be a two-part video because I need to leave for role-playing in under a half an hour. I was expecting this to take a little bit less time, but apparently not. Okay. So Sabina, I really wish I knew what their ranges were, but I can estimate from Diego. Diego can only go up one, two, three steps upward. So as long as Sabina, Sabina will move there. One, two, three. This is as far as she can potentially hit. So I might need to rush to try to reach the top with my archers. Oh, really? Die. You can't reach up down much yet, but that'll be next turn that you can do that. They can be targeted by Kurt's next turn, I think. Which is why Ash is gonna heal. Single target healing, so not great on efficiency. It's the same MP cost as Ultra Heal, and Ash has far less MP, but I think that's worth it. I wanted Sarah more toward the front because I want one rear guard and one front guard healer, basically. That's what I've got. And we need to start moving the mages up as well. I believe Kira can only get up to, yeah, same step as Dolan. Oh. Hux is staying down here. All right. That's everybody. really concerned about Kurtz. Okay, Kurtz can't reach yet. Saving. Okay, this turn is when Diego should be able to be a pure and utter terror. Start picking off Kurtz's. See what I mean? It's a lot more damage. Kira, can you actually reach? I don't think you can. Oh, you can! Sweet! Okay, this works. Bong! Pick off that Kurtz. How far up are you going to move? Yeah, I'm going to be in melee range. I'm definitely in spell range. Because you've got Thousand Daggers still, and Thousand Daggers, if I remember right, will hit Diego, but that's not that big of a deal. Really, it's not that big of a deal at all, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I think this is actually a good time to just move people up. It's 
we're going to have a bunch of armor folks coming up. So now is a good time to make sure our mages are getting close. So we've got four... No, we only have two. Okay. I was miscounting in my head. But this is probably where we're going to start spamming some salamander style spells. I'm letting them come to me for a reason. It's to spread them out more because they don't all have the same movement speed. I don't want to fight the dark mages at the same time as I'm fighting everybody else, basically. And I still have height advantage for the archers. I want to maintain that as much as I can. You're not thousand daggering? Was that only an area effect around them? That might have been. Oh, this helps me more. Sweet. Okay. Saving. Now let's start obliterating. So these are fist style enemies. So fist style enemies, I am going to be much better fighting with hawks. Having said that, I want to take out the damn archers. How far up can Dallas reach? Okay, not that far, so I'm not too concerned about Dallas. The Dark Mages are still height disadvantage. It's the archers, because if I fly the hawks in, the archers are going to make pin cushions out of them. Which is why I am taking advantage as much as I can. It did save. So my plan... Uh, Kira might get counterattacked here. Nope. So my plan is to bust through these two, run with the mages, and just start casting offensive spells like that. Because I... I think my spears can one-shot a Warmaster. I'm correct. Well, he does have a slightly more powerful spear than Aemon. Everyone's fully healed right now. So that is an advantage. Okay. How much damage can you do? So, a phase shift is only going to hit those up above. Frost Dragons is going to obliterate the pure living snot out of those four. Worth. Yes, that's most of his MP. But one, I can always use a life orb. But two, that's primarily what he's there for. Is to t That wasn't as much damage as I was expecting. Okay, maybe that wasn't worth it, but still, it's not too bad. Now I just need some pool to stand in front of him. It's going to end up being Ash. Actually, I can just have Ash stand here instead. As long as he doesn't get attacked by... Uh, the mages are probably going to be able to get him, aren't they? Uh, this might not have been the greatest of plans, then. Also, I didn't need to move him up that far. I forgot. He actually has decent range on that spell. The other option is to just attack one. That's not a bad idea, actually. As long as they don't block. Yep. And then the other one I can hit with an avalanche. That works. Bonk. 
now I'm only going to be attacked by mages, and there's only two of them. I can take two hits. I hope I can. Kind of screwed if I can. I was expecting you to be able to get further, but apparently not. Nobody is injured right now, but Ash is gonna be hurting this turn. Or you're gonna go after the area. Okay, I'm actually fine with you going after the area. Because you can't kill anyone. And I've got an Ultra Healer. Yeah, you're not even close to being able to kill him. Uh, you're going to be close, never mind. As long as they're alive, I'm okay. Also, you should have moved up slightly further. You would have been able to hit more people. Three hit points! Three hit points is more than zero, so that's all that matters. That turn was probably the diciest of turns. The next diciest is going to be when I'm going up the hill and I'm having to face two Sabinas that are uphill from me. First off. Okay, you can go to where Grog's at. Ultra heal. You are going to heal everyone that was affected. And we're going to see if Ultra Heal actually is a full heal, because I'm not entirely sure. Mm-hmm. It is. There we go. Much better. Grog, you know how to handle mages. Stab! So the other reason for trying to do this now, rather than doing it a little bit later, since I'm not um, which one, I'm going to use the reward right now, is because the enemies are going to level up faster than I can. So the trick is that enemies will level up and it ignores their equipment. We've figured that much out. So the enemies are going to level up and I don't get any more equipment for the rest of the game. I am at end game equipment. I m might be able to find some equipment still if I remember right. Okay. How far can you hit? You can hit down to the gutter. I don't suppose they're gonna let me sit. And if you move up to here, you can hit down to the gutter. I'm gonna try to get them to come toward me. I don't know if I'm gonna be successful. I might have to go run in with a hawk and run out again type of thing. I should have moved them so well, actually I'm gonna be moving Ash. If I can get them to move down, I am totally going to do that so I can fight them when they're in the gutter. I do not want to fight them when they have height advantage on me. That's not a good plan. Let's find out. They'll move. No. They are not moving. They're too smart for that. Okay. This is as far forward as I want to move, basically. Until those archers are gone. We're gonna move where Grog's at. So Grog is going to move up here. Sarah is going to move here. Dolan is going to move as far forward as he can. Okay, you are probably capable of shooting into the gutter, because if I could, they probably can. So I do not really want my hawks to be in the gutter if I can help it. So I'm hoping this will trigger them. Let's find out. Nope, they're not moving. They're too smart. Okay. We're gonna have to start doing some dumb things. 
But, well, that's what we're here for, right? Okay, I do need to move up slightly more. Oh, dude, we're going to start doing some dumb things. We're actually going to move back slightly. So I do not want my hawks to become pincushions. Which is what's going to happen if I do that. But I am instead going to taunt them forward, basically. Hence, highest defense character with a def up up. And facing the correct direction. Well, let's see if that works. No. It didn't work. I'm shocked. Def up still up? No. But we're going to take this one step at a time. don't know if I'm going to have enough time to finish. It's sad to bring my archers down, but I kind of have to. one of you has more MP right now. You have 33, you have 7, yeah. Heal and I is going to be the one that goes there. Dohar is there. Amen. And Darius. They're not moving. Do I actually have to come in range of their damn archers? Alright, we're moving up one step. I'm gonna go to the front of the step this time. How much closer do I need to be? Probably here? No, I actually need to go up that. Okay. Wish it was easier to tell how much of the height is going to mess up your range. Alright, my pickup's in about 10 minutes. So at this point, it makes the most sense to bring the archers as forward as possible, because that's the only way they're actually going to be able to hit anything. Unfortunately, it's gonna suck. Yep, I guess I am going to have my ninja. No, I'm not gonna have my ninja there. I'm gonna have my ninja there. My ninja doesn't have as good of defense. I'm going to grab my rope line hot up and pack it. Yeah, I have a dedicated machine just for role playing the surface. And they didn't take the bait. Are you kidding me? Oh, I didn't mean to hit end turn. Oh. I couldn't take that much time. person know that I did see a message. Okay. Meant to hit save, but brain derped. I'm gonna go up two steps. This should definitely trigger them. That's as far out as I can reach. Okay. Mm. 
really wish Sarah kept Mystic Shield. Oh, I can't believe that you lose Mystic Shield. For once, I'm actually using the guard as a guard. Honestly, this battle, I wish I had two guardsmen. Probably the only battle I wish that. I'm going to keep Grog in the back now. I don't think he's going to be useful. Alright, this should wake them up, because I'm now within range. Yep. <laughs> That's the problem. I didn't think I was in range of the mages. Crap! Dolan might be in trouble, this is why I saved. Dolan's going to take a lot of damage. Kira took a lot of damage for that matter. Okay, I only got one mage on me. Interesting. Okay, okay. This is probably going to be the last turn I can take. I can't reach them. What would it take for me to shoot in the face? Kira can probably shoot in the face now, and I bet Diego can too. Yep. Shoot in the face! Bonk! There are no flyers, so I'm less concerned about Ash right now. Ash should be able to one-shot, right? Not like that, though. Poop. Well, you're dead. Kind of wanted to save Apollo. How much MP does Apollo cost? Ten? Uh, I can do it more than once. You get launched into orbit. needed that archer gone. Dealing with those two are already going to be nasty enough, and yeah, both of them can hit me. Sarah. Actually. I misplaced Diego. Wave, which should heal them all back to full, uh, both of them back to full. Even though it was Kira that needed to be up there. That's the reason why I said I misplaced Diego. But I'm okay on MP right now. On her, at least. It's so hard, that's bad on MP, and Hux is not doing great either. I should have done it to Ash now, I think about it. Okay. I'm gonna need to stop the recording here and start it up next time, basically. There's at least only one archer left. That's going to help a lot. because friend should be arriving any minute now, and I need to use the bathroom. So I will talk to you later, Internet. Let me make a cartridge RAM save, and I'll talk to you next time.
well, it'll be the same video, so you'll see me shortly. And I'm back. Oh, controller turned off. It has been, what, four hours? Yeah, four hours. So no, four and a half. All right. Yep, this is where the pain is going to start. Conjuring and Dolan? Uh, they must be trying to magic him. Yeah, you're going to hit Ash. Bonk. Ow. Kurtz is going to end up hitting Clint. Ah. No counterattack. Using Thousand Daggers. That's fine, I think. And the Dark Mage. This is the problem. Okay. How much are you doing, Clint? That's the problem. Clint's alive. Because if Dolan lived, Clint was definitely going to live. And those two can't do anything. Okay, we're good. Internal ram save. Got it. Alright. First thing I need to do is get those goobers out of the way. You have 7 MP, which is still enough for a Roman fire. Um, if I can move up slightly, that would be great. I need to get through. How dead are you? Very dead. Sweet. You're dead. Let's go ahead and send Dallas on the Apollo mission. Uh, and we have liftoff. Liftoff of the space shuttle Dallas. It was only named Houston instead. Bonk. Well, you're still alive. Oh, let's fix that. healing hit an area like that which will heal everybody <laughs> only I had XP for this that would be nice Death to the Valkyrie! For some reason, I thought that we had Lando on this battle and not just Sabrina. Alright. I don't think you can hit from here, can you? Nope, I need to go up one more platform. That's fine. Kira. Oh, Kira's still injured. Oh, heal Kira with Sarah. Wave. Say hi, everybody. Would realize I would have moved Kira up first. Oh. Well, just came back from a very hilarious bout of role-playing. Uh, the dungeon that we were in was Slay the Spire themed. Uh, we were going up a tower with various events going on. Yeah, we just have evil statues at this point. How much damage do you do? Okay. Oh, that's easy. You're 
just gonna have one person there. Piercing light! See how little it does now? And... We have our prism. You found heaven prism! Sent to the wagon. Point blank shot from the side. I think you're dead. And that's it. We win. That was the last prism battle. Okay, we have completed the last of the prison battles. Always keep the pipe. Can't do. Um, I think we didn't use any items, did we? I know Ash is going to have an empty spot. No, we didn't. Sweet. We have all of the prisms at this point, which means... So I'm going to save it here. So I'm just going to show you what the option is now. But we're not actually going to take the option. Yep. Ash can promote now to a Vandalier. Vandaliers are the most powerful class in the game. They have the abilities of most of the other classes of the Trials of Terura. So in other words, a Vandalier has the attack power of a sword. Actually, more like the attack power of a spear. The defense of a guardsman. The healing magic of a priest. The offensive magic of a mage. And a lot more than just a mage. The movement speed of a monk. Oh, and did I mention that they block 100% of attacks from the front and 75% from the sides and 50% from the back? That's not counting the fact that they can cast every spell in the game. That alone sounds ludicrously overpowered, but it gets worse. Because you see, by promoting to a Vandalier, Ash gets a reforged Vandal Heart. Vandal Hearts, I should say, which means his attack power skyrockets even further. He will one-shot everything in the game. Um, or almost everything. I think it's actually possible for him not to one-shot things that are bosses. And even then, I'm pretty sure he one-shots most bosses. Um, in addition, this is where things get completely bonkers. The game treats items as though they are spells. So every item in the game is something that Ash can cast. Every enemy spell in the game is something Ash can cast. Every spell for every character in the game, Ash can cast. Ash will become ludicrously overpowered, and this is why I am not promoting him right now, because then the entire game becomes a joke. So I'm not going to do that. We're just going to keep Ash as a paragon for the time being. Okay? So, uh, this is where I'm going to end it. I hope you've enjoyed this, Internet, and next time we get to fight the hardest battle in the game where I'm intentionally stopping myself from using the most powerful ability possible so I actually have a chance of doing this without anybody dying. So, bye!